Hello and welcome back to Two Tickets Please. Today we have a video that we've been waiting for so long to film. We're leaving from the Madrid train station and we're going to Andalucía, specifically Malaga. This is one of the most commuted routes in Spain and therefore for the longest time Renfe has had a monopoly, meaning that the prices could have been elevated or lowered at their will. Nonetheless, a new player came into action very recently and their name is Irio. It slashes the prices in half and has raised quite the commotion to the stage at which we've received very exciting news that in an around June 1st, Renfe is going to inaugurate the Avlo long distance. Avlo meaning high speed, low cost, which usually does shorter routes, but is now going to go between Malaga and Madrid and, Mal and Sevilla and Madrid. Today we're leaving from the Madrid train station on our way to Malaga. This train station is about two or three times the size of the Valencia train station. If you haven't watched the video, it's up on the information card above. Square Rodilla is sandwich chain in Spain. Also the Renfe VIP lounge and many little stores where you can buy just like chips or drinks or just generic stuff. We recommend on the list that you buy stuff outside if you can, as you can bring uh, food and drinks into the station. As we walk further to the left, we can find some screens in which has the information on upcoming trains and when they leave from. Since there are two floors, you want to pay attention from which floor you're leaving from. Nonetheless, if you've already gone through security, they would have redirected you if you made a mistake. We find some larger establishments which have restaurants and tables inside. The biggest one is all the way to the end. There are some dividers to ensure that people who are looking at the times and those who are not walking to the establishment don't collide and create a huge mess of people in the middle. In that sense, this station is much more organized than other stations such as Valencia or even Malaga. If you want to sit down for a drink, we recommend that you go all the way to the end so you can have good Lavaza coffee, you can find your Coca-Colas and other sodas, plus warm food. And as well, you can sit all the way to the end where there's some tables next to some windows just in case you want to do some people watching or enjoy the scenery. The boarding process for Irjo was a mess. There were too many groups. The crew was really good at putting people in their groups, ensuring that everyone had checked in their tickets and that when groups had to go in or, or stop, they would they would be pretty diligent. But there were too many groups for sure. We didn't really know where to stand. And we had to ask like three or four times to ensure that we could go in at, a, at the right time. We walked all the way to the end, meaning that in this stage, we see we walk further. But once we get to the Malaga train station, we're the first to get off. A very kind gentleman greeted us into the car and told us that the suitcases, the big ones, had to be stored to the right. We can see the space is not very big. This caused a bit of an issue later on since we had to move our suitcases and we had to put it up above. Uh, because people were bringing in massive suitcases and it's just not a lot of space per car. This train is absolutely gorgeous. It smells impeccable and the aesthetic is brilliant. But the seats are fabulous. They're smaller than expected. They're smaller than that of uh, Ave, for example. And so are the tray tables. But the tray tables are extremely sturdy. They have a cup holder and they even have a bit of a grainy feel to it, which allows for some grip. You also have a footrest and a little hook that does not adjust and obviously a little bin to throw stuff. However, people did come quite often to ensure that we didn't throw trash on the floor or anything like that and so they picked up everything. You have two adjustable armrests, one for each person, so there is no more fighting for sure. And there are plugs underneath USB and Universal. The entertainment on board is offered by a QR code. Once you scan it, you can access the Wi-Fi. If you're accessing on a computer, you need to copy the link that is given to you and paste it onto the browser. And then you can just fill in your details and you're connected to the internet. It has, it has a 5G connection and a wide variety of movies, TV shows and magazines to rifle through. The blind is semi-opaque, is that between a, a translucent Renfe one and, and an airplane one, meaning that you can block most of the light, but without the car being completely dark. We also went to the cafeteria. Now the cafeteria is tiny, so we didn't really want to film people's faces, but we got a sandwich, a tortilla and a beer for about 11 euros, which is decently priced, not too expensive. Because we didn't want to film people's faces, we decided to download an image. So this is what the cafeteria looks like. There's literally a little bar to the left and to the right, and that's it. 
The Ave Cafeteria is much larger. It has, it's an entire car, basically. So you can stand around, eat whatever you have to eat, and then go back. In this cafeteria, if you want to eat something, it's better if you go back because there's literally people trying to order. There's a queue. It's, it's minuscule. The QR code also offers a variety of menus if you want to order an entire menu or you just want to offer individual things. These menus are also the same that are offered in the first class, but those come included in the price. Even though there's not a very long trip, we also obviously decided to check out the bathroom, mainly because some people might have to travel with babies and a very small bathroom would be a very big inconvenience. Not only are these bathrooms automated with buttons, ensuring that there is minimal touch, but also comes with a hand dryer and dispensable soap. And the baby table is extremely sturdy. It was even like a little bit hard to take down, but it doesn't clip onto the other side of the wall, but it's sturdy enough. Overall, the trip was a bit bumpy. I, I was talking to a, an engineer friend of mine and he told me that it might be because the suspension isn't worn in properly. If you take a Renfe train, you will definitely notice the difference it glides through. But this is just an issue that in two or three years will be will be solvented. The crew was insanely kind. They were always smiling, always ensuring that you're comfortable. So overall, it was one of the most pleasant experiences and one of the best ways to move around the country. Right now, we find ourselves at the Malaga Maria Zambrano train station. This train station is humongous. It has an entire shopping mall inside. But that video will come out next week in which we're going to travel with first class in Irio. So stay tuned and subscribe. Have a great day.